Uh, can you tell us how good was it to be in this hot seat at home like that during so long? Oh, it was um, really cool to be doing this race on home roads with home crowds and uh, people cheering my name. Um, uh, even sitting on the hot seat and having, you know, my family were there in front of me and uh, it was really special. Um, a lot of extra attention, but yeah, I'm soaking it up. <laughs> you thought at one moment you could bring back this rainbow jersey? Yeah, I thought, um, I knew, even, even though Ellen Van Dyke um, came through the first lap quite ahead of me, I knew that I had done uh, a faster second lap. So it really wasn't until she came, you know, into the last kilometre that I thought, yeah, she's, she's got it on me. But um, yeah, I, I was hopeful and I was very nervous watching. <laughs> Did you surprise yourself today? Uh, I don't know if I surprised myself, but I, like I'm, I was confident in what I could do here. Um, I think maybe I'm not as big a name in time trialling because I haven't done as many time trials as some of the top girls but um, yeah I know that this is my specialty and uh, I can perform really well on a course like this. We know Ellen Van Dijk prepared a lot, prepared specifically the last month for this TT. Yeah. Is it now the way to go if you want to win this World Championship TT? Uh, I think it depends on the, the individual. For me I, I like to race to get into good form so yeah I decided to do the, the women's welter and um, I think that was good for me and especially for my confidence I had a stage win there and um, yeah so I knew that I was in good form compared to other girls in the peloton I know it's not directly translatable to a time trial but um, I also did some really good specific training in the lead-in so yeah it's it's an individual preference I don't I don't think you need to stop racing um, in the lead-up to win thank you very much Thanks. well done congratulations